Have you heard? Have you heard? Fool! How can one be so ignorant of this matter? Our master priest, Narukami, is performing these religious austerities because it seems he made a request to the imperial household. But the imperial sanction has not been granted. Thus, he has shut in the dragon god who controls the rain and is performing these austerities to prevent the rain from falling. As you can see, for these past 30 days, not even a single drop has fallen. That is the bell of our master priest. How strange! Far off beyond the basin of the waterfall, a sad voice chanting Buddhist prayers can be heard. Here! How suspicious that an exalted maiden should come through the mountain pass, where even birds and animals dare not frequent. Tell me, what are you? Do you mean me? Yes, I mean you. I live at the foot of these steep mountains, and daily I pine for my beloved husband, from whom I have recently been parted. Have you parted from your husband in life or in death? Today is exactly the 49th day since his death. Mm. May Buddha's blessings rest upon his soul. This keepsake of his only tortures me. If I did not have it, Perhaps I might be able to forget him. From his new light robe, I wanted to wash away the filth of this mundane world. But for what reason? I do not know. The drought has caused all the wells to dry up, and there is no water to be had. I have heard. But at the waterfall in these mountain depths, the famed and precious waters never cease to run despite the drought. So I have dared to climb the hazardous mountain path to wash the robe of my dear husband. Sweet and loving is a husband. Please understand how I feel in my heart. Indeed, that is a pitiful tale. To rest your husband's soul in peace in the next world, I should like to hear your story. <laughs> I should like to tell you my story, but it is such a distance from here to there. I want to draw closer to you and tell you my story, but I suppose I would not be allowed to draw nearer to your side. You need not hesitate. Come here and tell me. Then may I be permitted to draw nearer? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Here, here, you may not pass. The master priest has given me his permission. 
this is a restricted area. A restricted area. Listen to the way he is speaking to me, Master Priest. It is only natural that he speaks so. No women are allowed near the days. Sit before us and relate your story. Very well, then. It is not long ago since I became intimate with my lord when I went flower viewing in Kiyomizdo. Here you could hear the strings of the koto, there the tones of the shamisen and drums everywhere. Outside our enclosure there was a slender, handsome young gentleman peering in at me. His noble bearing, his charm, his eyes, his lips. Oh, I cannot describe him in words. I fell deeply and completely in love with him. Although you did not know him. I so magnetic was his charm that from the nape of my neck... Did you feel a chill creep over you? Chill is not the word. Did you shake? Shake is not the word. Sometimes I would become cold. Sometimes I would become very, very hot. I was conquered by my lord's handsomeness. Fascinating, you racist. And the lord was flirtatious too. He was staring at me steadfastly, yet he pretended not to be looking at all. Mm, how sweet. Oh, honeysuckle sweet. It's like eating rice cakes with dripping jelly. <gasps> then, then, then what happened? After that, matters began to grow livelier. That is only natural. That is only natural. That night, after everyone had fallen asleep, all alone, I ventured to the dwelling of my lord. How brave. How brave. And then there was a large river. Yes, there are the Oya and Katsura rivers. They are famous rivers. Even though I wanted to cross the river, there was neither a boat nor a bridge. And though a woman, I boldly pulled up the hem of my kimono. Did you roll it up? Did you roll it up? I certainly did. I rolled my hem up very high and stepped into the water. Oh, it's icy cold. Disregarding the cold, I headed for the other shore and splash, splash. Zomburi. 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 Zomburi, Zomburi! Oh, it's deep. It's fathomless. It's getting out of our depth. Finally, I reached the other shore. Ring it, ring it. My hem was dripping wet. But to me, it no longer mattered. I pushed aside the bamboo grass and trod wildly on the reeds. I am now. To my lord's hermitage, I finally groped my way. I'm melting. We had many things to talk about. We enjoyed burning incense. We drank sake. We were so happy. But our flirtation soon turned to lovers' quarrels. I said, oh please, stop it. Of course, I'll stop it, he said. I'm going to pinch you. I'm going to strike you, I said. Go ahead and strike me, he said. I really will strike you, I said, and I slapped his head. Oh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. 
I'm bored. I'm going home. I said, no, I won't let you go. He said, I really must go home. I said, but he firmly seized me by the sleeve and drew me back, saying, I cannot let you go. Insisting that I must go, I released myself from his grasp and quickly ran away. Our master has fainted. Master Priest! Master Priest! Unbecoming of a Buddhist priest, I became enraptured by a woman's story and fell down from the days. My reason left me, and suddenly I felt a cold throb of water in my mouth, which made me feel refreshed. That is only natural. The water from the waterfall was given directly from my mouth to yours. Mm -hmm. Then you mean to say that it was you who gave me the water? I. And the one who caressed my chest was you also? I. Praise on your God! You conniving woman! You have come here to break my supernatural powers! Now, confess! You are the daughter of what court noble in the Imperial Palace? If you do not confess, I'll tear you apart at this very moment! Woman! What is your answer? Disgraceful that would be of me, dear Narukami. Never would I degrade myself to such a being. Never did I suppose that I would be suspected by your highness, the priest. I have no choice. I shall throw myself into the basin of the waterfall and join my husband in death. To all of you, I bid farewell. Namu Amida Butsu! Here! Stop her! My! How impetuous you are! I no longer doubt you. I did reproach you, but I can now see that your heart is true. Being thus suspected, how can I live any longer? Become a nun. Become a Buddhist priestess. What? And will you shave off my hair and make me your disciple? Yes, indeed. Do you really mean so? Would I, Narukami, lie? Then I thank you very much. You go to the foot of the mountains and fetch the razor. Hi. He is sending me off to the foot of the mountains. And later he and the beautiful maiden will be left all alone. What was that? Oh, nothing. It was just a thought. Just a lust. My dear teacher. That's right. I am your teacher. And you are my pupil. 
Soon you shall be initiated and become a disciple of Buddha. You must keep your mind pure. Then when the racer is brought, are you going to shave off my hair? Yes, I'm going to make you a beautiful bald buns. I... Here, why are you crying? To think that I should have to shave off these thousand strands of hair. Does it disturb your heart? Is that why you are crying? I... Hmm. A poem reads, My mother did not comb my raven hair, For treatment thus to cause me such despair. I well understand that you should be reluctant to part from your hair. Haita. Oh, hide. Oh, hide. Oh, hide. Oh. What is the matter? What is the matter? The thought has upset me, and my spasm grows more violent. Oh, it pains. It, it pains. How pitiful. And yet, there is no medicine to be had here. Come. Let me massage you a little. That would be more than I deserve. How could I ask you, a priest? Lady, you are ill. You need not be modest. Now, are you ready? There now. There now. Pain lies in the stomach. There now, there now, there now. It seems that the source of the pain has been suppressed. It is pleasurably soothed. Then now, then now, then you. What is the matter? I touch something very strange. What did you touch? It was soft, like a pillow, with a little tip. Dear priest, how silly of you. That is a nipple. A nipple? How sinful of me to think I've forgotten the gratitude that I owe to my mother's nipple, which reared me from a suckling babe. Truly, priests have no more human feeling than an offshoot from a tree. Your words are... Lordable. Come, let me massage you some more. B -b -b Below the nipple is the center of breath, the th then the center of health, where the pain originates. B -b Below the pit, there is paradise. Dear priest, what are you doing? I beg of you, I beg of you, the temptation is too great. Dear priest, what has happened to you? Do you mean I have gone mad? You are not in your right mind. Listen, please. Are you accusing me of sinning against Buddha? The word Sinning is mild, you a priest. I am corrupt. I am corrupt. 
I have fallen from grace. Do not deny me. If you do not submit, I shall turn into a fearful demon and bite into your beautiful throat and drag you with me to hell. Woman, what is your answer? Dear priest. Is the answer no? Oh. Is the answer no? Yes, I shall submit. Oh! My, what a ferocious look. Is that the way to make love? Oh, bliss and easy and peaceful death. Come to the land of the lotus. Be not so in. Patient, I have answered yes, and you need not rush me so. Dear Narukami, do you really wish to marry me? Yes, we'll fall headlong into the hellish pond of man and wife. Then I'll marry you, but I do not want to marry a priest. Will you? Renounce the priesthood? Even now. Do you promise? I vow to the founder of Buddhism. That oath reminds me of the temple. And your name is Priest Narukami. Hmm. Then I'll change my name. To what? Hmm. I'll change my name to, hmm, Mark Emmanuel Diaz. Now we are man and wife. Quickly, to the Elysian Fields. Are you rushing me again? To prove that we are man and wife, I want to exchange nuptial cups. All right, we'll have our nuptial cups. Ah. Here's sake and a sake bowl. Are you surprised? I followed the stealthy movements of my acolytes and knew that these were here. How wonderful. They are just <laughs> what we needed. Here, you drink first. Um. In the secular home, I heard somewhere that the woman should drink first, and then she should pour for her husband. My, how clever you are. All right then, in celebration, I shall drink first. Here, let me pour for you. I cannot drink much. This is a cup uniting us in this world and in the next. Oh, no, a thousand pardons. What do you mean? I cannot drink a drop of sake. I even hate pickles. You might have abstained until now, but now that you have taken a wife, it would be best for you to change your ways. But I can't stand the stuff. Are you not going to drink, even though I ask you to? Oh, no. I apologize, and as I apologize, you may pour all that you wish. Oh. oh, what is the matter? It 
Tis the first time that I have ever drunk sake. My poor tummy's rumbling. Oh, I'm cold. Soon you'll become hot. Now I'll return it to you. It is bad luck to say the word return at a marriage ceremony. You would not want the wife to return home. Then I give it back to you. You are not supposed to say go back either. Then finish the cup. All right. With a toast to ourselves, I'll take another drink. Oh no, I can't take another drop! Are you not going to listen to me? Oh no, go ahead, pour, pour, pour! See, it's filled to the brim. Admirable. Oh! What is the matter? What are you afraid of? There is a snake in the car! It's preposterous, there's nothing! That is not a snake. That is the sacred rope. It prevents the fall of the rain. Oh. How? That is a very important matter. Do not divulge the secret. In order to let the rain fall, all one has to do is cut the rope in the center. Then the dragon god will escape and it will rain in torrents. Interesting. Here, go ahead and drink more. Why don't I give you a drink? Not yet. The conventional rule is three cups. If you're unwilling... I didn't say I was not willing. I can't drink any more.
Dear Notre Dame, your divine spell has been broken. The sacred rope has been cut and the dragon god has escaped to heaven. What? Does it rain? It pours. What? Does it thunder? It roars. Why does it rain? Why does it thunder? Dear Narukami, you've been ruined by that lovely woman. Did you think that she was an ordinary woman? Her name is Kumo no Taima, and she is a lady of the royal court. By imperial order, she has come to cause your destruction. Mm. Then she came purposely to break my religious vows. Good. Is short lived, evil prolongs as long as I am to be punished by Buddha. I shall become living thunder and pursue that woman. A thousand miles I'll stride and speed over millions more. Wherever she shall hide, I'll seek her and the Thank you all so much for coming and joining us at Narukami Thunder God. We are Kabukima, the only English language uh, Japanese kabuki theater troupe in the West. Uh, so thank you all for taking that leap of faith and, and trying something different. This year at the Fringe, uh, we'd like to do a special thank you also to the Japan Society, who I believe are in here today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you liked our show, as usual, be sure to leave a review. Uh, in your little cards, we've attached our info, our websites, our Instagrams, everything, if you want to stay up to date with all things Kabuki in the West. Yes, and uh, we have some custom t-shirts for sale uh, for a negotiable price. <laughs> and um, you're just legally bound to wear them 24-7 once you purchase, so keep that in mind. Hand printed. <laughs> and uh, we have Marcus joining us from the Shakuhachi Experience. Yes, uh, thanks very much. I really had a fantastic time playing with Kabuki Ma. Thank you so much for for asking me to play here. Uh, I have the Shakuachi experience, so they are on a mission to make Kabuki more popular in the West. I have a mission to make this fantastic mm -hmm. instrument, the Shakuachi, more popular in the West. Um, so I have my last show today as well, at uh, 5 o'clock, the Arthur Conan Doyle Center. Um, I play everything from traditional to lots of other stuff to modern electro-pop stuff as well. Um, so please come to see that show. It would be fantastic to have you there. Thank you. You don't want to miss it. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, so we purposely planned this, so there's a little time left over. 
Uh, you guys are free to leave, or if you want to come up and take a picture with us or ask any questions you have about the Kabuki Theater or who we are. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all so much.